for you on the Franklin County Children's Services Holiday Wish Program. It's an awesome program you need to take part in. And then cocktails aren't just for drinking, apparently. Dr. Ann has a new treatment that's all about boosting your immune system. Plus, we continue with the cocktail theme in honor of National Happy Hour Day today. And we learn how the perfect pout in your lips is this week's Beautiful Faces segment. And this and more, all on daytime today. Well, we all remember as kids, we had our Christmas wish list. Sometimes it was a big item we really, really wanted, like a new basketball to play hoops out back. Or maybe we desperately needed that Cabbage Patch Kid <laughs> whose hair you could crimp and curl. My dad waited four mm -hmm. hours for that one. Yes. Either our parents or Santa usually made this happen. And in that spirit, we all want you to play a role in making holiday wishes come true. We're happy to once again welcome Frida McCarn. She's the head elf for Franklin County Children's Services Holiday Wish Program. Thank you for for having me. And of course she is joined by Glenn Pipes Mackey. He is with the Proprietors Motorcycle Club AMA. So welcome to you both. I love this day because I love talking about how cool this this um, whole program is. So. Yes, it's a wonderful program. And Frida, let's start with you. You were actually retired from FCCS. After 38 years. They're, oh, that is wonderful. 38 years. But every year you put on your elf hat. What keeps you coming back for this program? Because I was with the agency so long, I saw the effect that this program not only had on our children, but on our families. It was like a stress release because um, when you're thinking about if you have to buy food or pay a utility bill or for some reason your case has opened up with children's services, it's like a, a relief to know that there's someone out there that cares enough that they're willing to buy a, a gift for a child. You know, and it, it's, we don't think about it as much, you know, because thank God we're kind of fortunate, but there are people out there less fortunate than us sure. and, the, and children. You know, and the gifts are, you know, the things that children ask for are just little small things, not big things, you know, but little small things. And that may be the only gift that that child may receive that year. They may be separated from their parents and placed in foster care or temporarily with a kinship relative or unfortunately may in, in some type of treatment home or group home for the holidays. And so we want that child on Christmas morning, if they cannot be with their biological family, to have something to open up to brighten their holiday for that particular season. So Frida, explain how the Holiday Wish Program works and how people can get involved. Well, first you can call me at 614-275-2525. Um, with each child, we serve children from zero to 18. Um, from 0 to 11, each child is asked for a $50 gift that, the, that they specifically ask for. And for our older children, we buy gift cards because, you know, that's that crazy yeah. age. That's that yeah. age, right? <laughs> yeah. And nothing you buy is right. So we, all, we buy gift cards for those older children. And so you can call in, request a child. You can ask for the gender or the age, and we'll be glad to match you up with that particular child. And none of the gifts are over $50. Okay. So you can get maybe one big gift or several small gifts, but they'll just total up to $50. 6,500, more than 6,500 is the amount of gifts you need. So just that puts into perspective, Glenn, I'm sure that's part of the reason why you and the Motorcycle Club chose to get involved, right? Seeing this huge need. Um, so kind of tell us where that, that sparked. Oh, well, the uh, proprietors have been involved in getting cho toys for kids for the last 10 years. We do something for a North Linden toy drive and one year, about four years ago, uh, we ended up with bags of toys left over and we're looking for a place to donate the toys. And someone had run across Frida's Holiday Wish and Franklin County Children's Services. So we literally took carloads of toys down there. <laughs> and, uh, and Frida's and, like, you're my new best friend. Exactly. Come <laughs> well, the, the look on Frida's face and the staff down there were so nice that we decided this is our charity for the year. There we go. There's a picture of it. I love that you guys did that too. And and you know, it's this this program that I feel like um, deals with these kids that are in tough situations, right. as you mentioned, Frida. And, and to see kind of the result of that for how many years you've been involved with this. I mean, is it does it ever get old? No. <laughs> never. Never. Um, I've been involved with this particular program about five years now. And I look forward to coming back 
every year because it's like a family reunion, um, like with Pipes and his group and the staff that works with me and the volunteers that come in yeah. and the donors. I mean, I have formed friendships with all of them. So it's like a big family reunion. And so I'm just so happy every year to come back. Let's get into the specifics then, Frida. How, what are the ways that people can help? As I said earlier, they can call in and ask for Pacific Town to purchase a Pacific gift. You can uh, purchase a new unwrapped toy, bring it down to our agency at 855 West Mound Street, or they can go online and make a cash donation at our Holiday Wish site. All right, the toys you look for too, sometimes I know certain ages can be tougher as we mentioned, but you're looking for babies all the way up to 18, right? So I mean, no matter what somebody's out there looking for, are there good kind of gifts that they can buy? Because a lot of times people like to buy some well, you know, the, money. believe it or not, the hard, hardest ages are from my like 8 to 11, okay, you know? Okay. And so, you know, like if you buy sports items, craft sets, um, jewelry making sets, journals, um, remote control cars, um, MP3 players, things like that for the older children, you know, that's where my need is. I mean, you have that age where they're playing with a doll, but they're not exactly yeah, playing yeah, with a doll. Right. You know, the makeup now. You know, hanging out, polishing yeah. the makeup, and the, the, what do you call those things? The styling doll heads. Now, your oh, eight, yeah, yeah. It's, those like are real part, right, like yeah. to do the hair, you know, <laughs> and board games. I mean, I'm in books. I'm really push. I like books. <laughs> and, and I don't care how old you are. That's a good gift, yeah, right? right. I mean, books. Kids need, they love books. Books. Yeah. Books. All right, and Pipes, I'm sure you'll be out just begging people for, for more gifts throughout the season, right? If someone sees right. you, just come hand you a gift, right? Yeah, well, we actually uh, have toy boxes out at 10 different locations in the northeast and northwest areas of Columbus. Perfect. And, okay. Uh, if anybody wants to find out where those locations are, they can go on our Facebook, Proprietors AMA Club, and they can find those places and maybe drop off a toy for us. Sounds awesome. All right, again, it's the Holiday Wish Program with FCCS. Phone number, website, all that good stuff up on screen. Just get in touch with them, and you can donate a gift this season. Thank you, guys. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yeah. Well, the hustle and bustle of the